Next, we'll see how activities can work together to exchange data. An activity often does work for another activity and needs to report the results. Source and target activities pass several pieces of data between them. The full data flow between activities is fairly complex. You can think of these activities that return data as roughly analogous to a method, in the sense that it does work for you. You invoke it and pass arguments, and it performs its job and returns the result. Activities support three possibilities for return values. No return value, only a success failure code, or data and a success failure code. The source activity sends a request code and intent extras to the target. The target will return the same request code automatically, as well as a result code and an intent containing a bundle of extras. Source and target activities use activity methods to do the actual data passing. When a source activity needs to get results from a target activity, the interaction pattern changes slightly from the standard start activity call we saw earlier. In the source activity, there are two changes. It calls start activity for result instead of start activity, and it overrides an on activity result method to receive the result when the target is finished. In the target activity, there's just one addition. It calls set result to return a success or failure code, as well as an optional intent full of extras.